First of all, look at my cute dress. I'll show you. I just set up the camera, but I have to show you my cute dress. Just got it from a vintage store. Oh, and it's pretty short. So my ass might come out. But that's fine, that's fine. Honey, I'm starting to shoot a video now, okay? So you gotta be quiet. Yes. Yes. We talk. We have conversations. Right, Willow? Like every time I talk to her, she responds. You wanna say hi to my beautiful people? Hi, guys. It's Willow Bean. Oh, she sees a bird. Go get it. Go get it. What is up my beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Queera and this is, oh no, this isn't Ask Queera. This is a, just a fun video. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Kira and I am a queer, gender fluid actor and content creator here on the tube. And I also have a TikTok, go check that out. I also have an Instagram and my partner and I have a very special Patreon where we share exclusive videos and a new podcast that we're doing on there that we don't put anywhere else on the internet. All the links will be in the description. In today's video, I am going to be reading your cutest queer romantic stories. Whether they're like with you and a crush, with you and your partner, you know, stories about like how you proposed or how your partner proposed to you or how your partner asked you out and just like cute date stories and stuff like that. Cause I feel like we all, we all need some of that right now. We all need to feel good and warm and fuzzy inside right now. You know what I mean? And I'm very excited to read all these. Sorry if my necklace turns upside down in the middle of the video, it's gonna really bother me. So without further ado, all these are gonna be anonymous. Grab a coffee, grab your favorite snack, grab your favorite stuffed animal and let's snuggle in and feel cute and warm and cozy. We're gonna start with a really cute proposal story. Me and my partner met on the Her app five years ago. We got engaged last April and are getting married this coming May. Ah, congrats. I proposed to her at sunrise by hiding her ring inside an exploding photo box that I decorated for her with love lyrics from Taylor Swift songs. She's both of our favorite artists. Taylor Swift like has always made the best romantic music since I was a preteen. I used to write parodies of my favorite Taylor Swift songs and make them about the crushes I had at the time. There was this one song, I'm sure you all know, Hey Steven. I actually had a crush on a guy named Steven and I would like sing that to myself and like change the lyrics in my own words to like match the situation. Oh my God, it's so fucking cheesy. Super embarrassing and off topic. And on the drive home, I made her a playlist called She Said Yes for us to listen to that whole day. It was so special and full of lovely songs or songs we love together. Then when we drove home, I got our best friend to decorate our apartment for us while we were gone. <gasps> Wait, that's such a good idea. It was the perfect morning and one of the happiest days of my life. Also, my partner proposed back to me in the fall in a really romantic way. We went to the beach to watch, to watch the sunset and had a picnic with all our favorite snacks and she gave me a music box that was custom made and engraved with our wedding date on it and my last name which she will be taking and the music inside of it was of course a Taylor Swift song on piano oh Oh my God, that's a beautiful ring, by the way. You guys are so adorable. And like the scene, the beach, the cliff, it looks beautiful. You guys look like you're out of a freaking movie scene. I am so happy for you guys. That is the most beautiful and most thoughtful proposal times two. Next. So me and my friend have been friends since we were 11. We got closer when we were 13 and would play ukulele together, but then grew a little more distant. For the past two years, we have sat next to each other in class as casual friends, but this year we started our A levels. I don't know what that is. <laughs> and had classes together a lot more frequently, so we became closer. Totally platonically, it started last December when we went ice skating and we had to hold hands because we were really bad at it, lol. Oh wait, that's a really like smooth way to like hold someone's hand. <laughs> that's a great idea, take notes people. And then after our ice skating, we kept holding hands and I was thinking, is this platonic? No, not especially not after you're like back on the regular ground. So we kept holding hands in class, in the corridor, on ski trips, and writing Taylor Swift lyrics on each other's hands. Ah, that's so 
cute. I hope Taylor Swift knows like she she is so important to the queer community and for the whole world, but like the queer community, you know what I mean? She's always been there for us. The time it flipped for me was when we went on a walk in the park and danced to Taylor Swift songs classic and i wrote this gazing at the scenes of twisted branches above our heads we fiddled with blades of grass and made hearts with each other's hands as i stared into the speckled gate glaze of her eyes i knew for the first time we wouldn't be just friends Shit. and that made me so happy because it was the first time i'd ever felt like this for anyone in real life fictional characters still have my heart vibes since I discovered that I was gay. Oh, okay, and then there's there's more, there's more. So one time we were on a school trip and she was coming back to mine after. We were watching a film called Dating Amber and it had a, a lesbian couple in it and they were being really cute and she was stroking my hand and my heart rate was like spiking. Then after it finished, I was kissing her cheeks and stroking her hair and then we just kissed and I couldn't function. I was like, my heart Anyway, now they're my girlfriend. And of course I asked them through the girl in red song because baby gay first girlfriend vibes, totally. Oh, that is really romantic. That is, oh, I am such a hopeless romantic and I live for little moments like that. Taylor Swift really be bringing the gays together. <laughs> Hi Kira, thanks for giving us the opportunity to share our life with you when it's mostly the other way around. Of course, I love, like, I feel like we're connecting, we're bonding throughout these like videos and experiences. And I can like feel what you guys are feeling through whatever you send me. And so I just love making videos like this. It's my favorite thing ever. When I met my girlfriend last summer, one of our first dates was me visiting her and hanging out with her all day in her garden. We talked for hours and hours and eventually when the sun had set and night had fallen, I got a little cold. She went inside to get me something warm to wear and returned with a jumper which smelled like her, so I loved it. Months later, she told me that the jumper was her favorite piece of clothing she owns and she had never given it to anyone. She said she didn't even think twice about giving it to me and only later realized that that was the moment she subconsciously knew I would be around for a long time because she let me take the jumper home with me. That is a really special thing too because like personally I'm a Taurus. I am so protective over my clothes but like there's been times where I, like me and Lauren were doing long distance and I had like left my clothes with Lauren so that Lauren could like fall asleep next to them and stuff. That's a true act of love, you know? When Lauren and I first met, we met in LA and we didn't know if we were ever gonna see each other again. And Lauren gave me this like blue and white striped shirt that they were sleeping in and they honestly honestly didn't know if they would ever get it back, but they just like gave it to me as a token to like remember that time together. We're married now, bitch. I've had it ever since and every time she comes to see me, she wears it so it smells like her when she's gone. Oh! There's nothing like the scent of your partner. I know this might sound really weird, but like if you know, you know. Everyone's smell is so unique. Sometimes I think about like what the fuck my smell is because I'm scared that it's like a bad smell. <laughs> I don't think it is, but I love how scents can like bring you back to a moment in time or even like songs. Next story. Pre-COVID then, I was in a plane and was next to this really cute girl and I was watching my favorite show. She also loved that show and told me, so we watched it together. Then when the flight attendant brought snacks, she opened both of ours and fed me a pretzel. I was leaning on her shoulder. And then after she kissed me, wow, this is so, whoa, that is wild. When you're on a plane, you're in your own little world. You don't have social media. You don't have any like contact to the outside world. It's almost like things that happen on a plane don't exist in like real time. Unfortunately, then her mom yelled at her the second we got off the plane and didn't exchange info or anything, but it was cool to have an organic moment that mainly straight people get to have. Yeah, cool little moments, even if they're platonic, even if they're just like friendship moments. Like one time I met this girl on a plane and she was like, starting a fantastic journey, moving from the East Coast in Canada to Australia. And so she was only on her first like connection flight. I was going to LA. So like she was getting a plane after LA. It was just really cool. We really connected on that flight and I was really, excited to like see where like how her life changed after that and i think i followed her on instagram for a while after that too and i saw all her pictures in australia and it was super cool to just like meet her on the plane on that like first moment in her journey i'm sweating oh 
I don't smell though. Off topic, Lauren got this deodorant the other day and it's like a crystal and it, there's no aluminum. It's like very natural and it's supposed to balance the pH of like your body odor and oh my God, it's fucking working. I sweat a fuck ton. I can probably thank my dad for that genetic thing. If this is the answer to my sweating problems, my day is going to be made. Next. So me and my current girlfriend met at a cooking class for juvenile delinquents. We hated each other. And then one day I was helping her get cups from the back and she pushed me. I thought we were about to fight, but then she pushed me against the shelf with peanut butter and condiments. She kissed me and we started making out and that's how we came out to each other. We have currently been dating for three and a half years. I love her so much. <gasps> that could be a scene in a, in a TV series. That's that's hot. Sometimes when someone is like out of the blue, really rude to you or like kind of picking on you in a way, they might have a crush on you. That's sometimes the way crushes go. Reminds me of Cheryl Blossom, you know? Didn't she like hate Tony at first? Didn't Cheryl like despise her? And like they ended up being girlfriends. Tony is the hottest character in Riverdale. No one can tell me otherwise. Next, hi, I was a little closeted baby bi and I had this really good friend from elementary school. We went to the same high school and somehow ended up agreeing to have friends with benefits thing. We were both virgins and had never even held hands with other girls. Ooh. We started to sleep over at each other's houses all the time and spooned each other and cuddled and all that cute stuff. TBH, I was very much in love with her, but I was still having a little bisexual panic going on. Fair enough. Classic. The best friend thing. But definitely the cutest moment in my life was when we finally kissed for the first time. We were in my room and it was the middle of the night. I could see the full moon from the window and she laid there next to me and the moon lit her face. The both of us were just gently brushing our hands together but we weren't touching otherwise. Just laying there just a centimeter away from each other. Finally our noses touched and I felt a lightning struck through my whole body to my toes. Her hands started to shake and I could not help myself but kiss her in the moonlight. I have never since then felt anything like that, even though I have a partner I love the most. She ended up becoming my first girlfriend and was absolutely my gay awakening. That's so fucking precious. When me and Lauren had our first kiss, it was kind of like a similar situation where we were like laying facing each other on the bed, but like not touching and we were in the dark. And then like we just started inching towards each other and then eventually we kissed and it was very precious. So that makes me feel very warm and fuzzy inside. Oh, Willow is like literally purring. I think she's like sleeping with her eyes open right now. Can you hear that? I'm gonna voice record this right now. It's so freaking cute. Oh shit, she stopped doing it. Next. We're exes now, but how we met was textbook cute. My first job ever was a hostess at an all-you-can-eat restaurant. I was still a baby gay at the time. My ex came in to eat with all of their friends, and while doing my rounds, I had made eye contact with them and smiled at them several times because I thought they were attractive. When their group came up to split the check and pay, my ex paid last, and after another eye contact and smile, they told me I was really cute, and then immediately turned and sprinted out the door with me calling after them that they were cute too. <laughs> Not 30 seconds later, their friends pushed them back inside and they asked me for my number. <laughs> First and only time someone asked me for my number at my work. Yeah, I feel like that's a really risky thing. It's like either, it's like the cutest thing in the world or it's, it's the most inappropriate thing in the world. <laughs> There's like a fine line. I wrote it down on a post-it note with shaking hands. Oh, that's so clever. And then they went back to their friends. They held the note up high above their head and their whole friend group burst out into cheers outside the restaurant door. We only dated for a month, LOL, but still very cute. Wow, that's adorable. I feel like those moments usually don't work out, but like when they do, that's a really cute first meeting up story. We're gonna do a few more. Oh, this one's cute. Okay, I was in an all girl school for most of my life and in grade six, gay couples still weren't much of a known thing. From grade five onwards, I always knew I was a lesbian and the following year, I had a massive crush on, on the girl I spent all my time with, so I asked her out and we held hands a lot publicly in the halls and stuff. People stared and asked questions and treated us like a walking Q&A for a while. <laughs> but after some time, we were both that one famous lesbian couple in the year group. <laughs> I feel like there's always one. <laughs> From then it was clear we removed some stigma in the school around gay relationships and were accepted by most people. Hell, even most of the teachers knew about us. That's like 
really fucking cool because so many people are too scared to like be out and obviously sometimes it's dangerous to be out and proud in like a school that you know might not accept you but this is fucking badass also you were so young <laughs> i love that i feel like that's also introducing gay couples to kids like at a fairly young age so they're like okay well, like this is a thing this is normal I love that for you. During the following years, there was more and more lesbian couples who went public after us, who were a part of the crowd that used to look at me and my past girlfriend weirdly, and I'd like to think we gave them that courage. Hells yes you did! I love that for you so much, and I love that for your school, and just know, like, you made a huge difference by doing that, and I know it might not seem like it you did, but I feel like you know that you did, so. Queera is proud of you, honey. Queera is giving you a gold star for being an awesome, awesome queer. <laughs> Last story. My friends and I used to throw these occasional little parties at a barn venue that my cousin owned in the middle of nowhere. A lot of dancing and stupid games of truth or dare and sparkling grape juice because we were in middle school, LMAO. <laughs> anyway, at one of these parties, the group sort of migrated to this big rock and we were all sitting on it outside the barn and laughing. And the girl I liked nestled into my lap and I started mindlessly playing with her hair. She. It was sweet, but honestly, I kind of forgot about it until my birthday a while later when she handed me a drawing of us at that moment and said that she made our other friend sneakily take a picture so she could draw it later. <gasps> that is really fucking cute and like sneaky, but cute. And I love how like you didn't even remember the moment until she gave you the fucking drawing. That is so funny. Okay, y'all. That is it for that video. That was super cute. I feel really good. I feel like I'm gonna have a great day because I started my day off reading your adorable ass stories. So thank you to everyone who sent them in. Y'all are perfect, y'all are amazing. I wish you the absolute best and I wish you all your beautiful romantic um, dreams to come true. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to make sure that you can participate in the next time I do a video like this or an Ask Queero. I made videos reacting to your gayest confessions, Catholic high school confessions, your coming out stories. So I have a lot of these like reaction videos here on YouTube and I will link some below or put them in the little icon up here if you want to go watch them. And yeah, I hope you have an amazing day. I love you as always so, so much. You are valid, you are beautiful, and I will see you in my next video. Here's a hug. Mwah.